There we go. Today is the day, everyone. This is not the right music, because this is serious, okay? I'm gonna go a little bit serious over here. Today is a memorable day. It marks uh, the passing. What I would say is a great game. I remember in 2017, launch day, Tekken 7. I played this game, I bought this game, I was so excited for this game. I wanted to be someone in this game, and so I did my best. It's a game of many flaws, a game that uh, sometimes doesn't treat you right, like an abusive family member, but still family, you know? As today, we part our ways with Tekken 7, we must also respect what Tekken 7 gave to us. Because we go beyond the bad, we focus on the good, and it doesn't matter how many three bar lars they give to us. It doesn't matter how many snake edges we get hit by. It doesn't matter how many instant rage arts we get hit by. It doesn't even matter how many alt F4s we get hit by. It's all part of the game. And it's a game we love. This game. Wow. This game gave me so much. It marked the beginning of my FGC journey. And so I have to thank this game, Tekken 7. It was painful at the beginning, you know, seeing the game being released on arcades, having to wait those two years, seeing the Akuma trailer, and thinking to myself, what the fuck? But in Harada we trust, and so we waited. DLCs came Geese, came Noctis. It's all fine, because it's still Tekken inside. When I play this game, I s it still feels like Tekken. It reminds me when I was a, just a little boy playing Tekken 3 for the first time. We are willing to forgive all those who have sinned in this game. All the people with 2D is all I need. The Eliza bikini players, even you, are forgiven. Because this game has given so much and we have to respect it. Today, we mark the beginning of a new game. Tekken 8 is coming, but we shall not forget this game. Few years go by, and people will remember. Boys, it is time. We have to say our goodbyes. And as much as it pains me, as much as it pains me, it is the end for Tekken 7. I wasn't able to reach Tekken God Prime. I wasn't able to be the very best, but this game was the best. And so I ask all of you in chat to salute, for Tekken 7 was a game of all time. And now, one minute of silence, which is how long Tekken 7 takes to load on the PS4. You know I'm joking, right? You know this game is fucking garbage, right? Oh, out to the fucking trash we go. Are you guys ready for Tekken 8 or what? It's finally time. Tekken 8's coming in. Get this weak shit out of here. Tekken 8 is coming out in 3, 2, 1. Oh, wait, okay, it's starting download. It's <laughs> App not released? Come on, come on. It's out. Yes, it. What do you mean go play it? I can't, bro. I can't. This can't be happening, bro. Bro, these guys are excited. Okay, it's unpacking. It's unpacking. Now we wait <laughs> one hour and 30 minutes? So yeah, what, what second seven character are you? We're gonna take the fucking quiz, right? Yeah, I don't have a, a strong preference, actually. Bro, Julia? Really? Uh, and let's take a look at the characters as well, because we're doing uh, tier lists. Everyone loves tier lists, right? Character design and rage arts. So we're gonna start with Nina. Anyways, Nina, Nina I think is really good. I think the only downside for Nina is the... maybe the hair? Kinda like it. Kinda reflects like how mature... more mature she is, I hope. Sure hope. Gorgeous. Uh, I, I will actually agree with you. A tier. Okay, Nina. Yeah, Nina's over here. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. I feel it. I feel it. The dying silence, the palm. I love that. I think it looks really, really cool. Richard is probably an A as well. 
I think it's a, I think it's a solid Rager. Also, Kazuya's design is peak. I don't know if it is A or S, but it's definitely very good. It might be like the best outfit yet, uh, though I like the Tekken one. I like the tank top with the jeans. I think that look is killer. The design is gonna go S, and here we go with the Rage Art. I think the Rage Art is really good. He has the kick, which is interesting because Kazuya has never been like that crazy of a guy when it comes to kicks and stuff like that. It's gonna go A. I don't think it's S. But I do think it's better than Nina's. Okay, now Jin's design, um, I like the white. I think this game follows a very, like, a black and white color scheme with a lot of the characters, which I guess it makes sense. It's kind of like duality and morality and all that stuff. I like the jacket, the jacket is kind of cool. I like seeing the white again on the gloves. It reminds me of Tekken 5. Tekken 5, he had the white gloves. Very, very cool. It kind of reflects his personality, like uh, the red is still a little bit there. I guess it's the Mishima blood. And then you have the white and the black, which is like morality. Uh, Jin has had his ups and downs in terms of morality. More downs than uh, than ups. I'm gonna put Jin in S as well. Book Fist. The single... Single wink. And it's a little bit edgy, a lot flashy. I think it's solid, so A it is for the Rage Art. You know what, I might give it the S. I think it looks kind of cool. It's a little bit edgy, but I'll give it the S. Fine. Now, Paul, here's the doozy. This is not the look. It's not even mid, it's downright bad. Nothing helps here. Yeah, it's a straight up scene. Okay. Strongest in the world. This. I like the fact that he rips his jacket. That is kind of cool. I've never seen that in a Tekken game in a... So, Rage Art is not that bad. It's either high B or low A. Let's give it low A. I, I think Rage Arts are gonna be like pretty good in general. Now, Martial Law. Martial Law is interesting because, like, if you play it safe and you play it, like, too close to the original design, that's fine by me, but it's, that also means that I can't give it, like, that much of a good score. This plays, like, way too safe. Might just be because it kind of plays too safe. And I don't like that. And I also don't like Law in general, right? Has the nose thing. Kind of like that. Nunchucks. The jump in. I hate the jump in. And uh, the face he makes is completely... <laughs> I mean, it's funny. I think it's weak. I think this Rage Art is actually weak. Uh, speaking of, like, the designs that play too safe, here we have King. I feel like in every game, uh, King's design is a variation of this. It's just fine, it's, it's kind of like the wrestler thing. King, design-wise, is gonna be B. Which is weird to be on the same tier than Law. Maybe Law should be lower. Yes, yeah, and it, it's the Octopus, the Tekken 2 Octopus stretch, right? Oh, that looks cool. That looks cool. It might just be... Yeah, it might just be S. I really like it. You know what? I'm gonna give it the S. And uh, actually, it's gonna go above... Jin. I don't know. I think Lars as a character was a mistake. I think Lars' coolest design... Oh, is the Naruto one. You know what I'm talking about. I, I, I can't. I can't. I, I don't like Lars' design. But I do think it's better than Paul's because Paul's is atrocious. See, it is. Uh, and the Rage Art, yeah, you know, Rage Art is more Naruto stuff, I don't know. Maybe Lars should have stayed like a Naruto character, because I don't think he belongs in Tekken, he's not doing anything. So, anime is cool, but it's not that cool, okay? Chill. Now, check weight design-wise. This one is interesting, because it looks very, very different, but Jack is one of those characters that, like, always looks different in every game. I think King's is better, but Laws is worse. I, but I think it's the, the uh, visor's fault. I think the visor looks weird. Uh, now he does use the railgun, right? Okay. Put him up, get the railgun, and shoot that shit. And thing is, he gets knocked out by it. <laughs> it's kind of cool, I kind of like it. Is it better than Nina's? It is better than Nina's, even though the palm is very cool. No, I like Jax, I like Jax. Jun, another interesting character. I think Tekken has a hard time making bad designs. They do make bad designs, like, here and there. But, uh, you know, Jun's, again, black and white, looking Gucci. Because it's so Jun, it's gentle, and, and it has, like, the long, uh, you know, kind of dress feel. It feels mature. So it might actually be an S, honestly. Uh, it's gonna keep the S, and I'll say it. It's better than Jun's, better than Jun's. I really, really like Jun's design. Let me check that um, Rage Art. Yeah, it's the little dove with the piece, the purifying. I think she has different lines depending on the characters, which is cool, I like that. It's like death by purification, and I love that. Like, it makes sense for devil characters like Kazuya and Jin, she's like purifying them, but like, imagine like Xiaoyu, which is like completely, you know, pure, normal, she's just 
know, a normal girl. And getting hit by that and like death by purification is such a cool concept. Uh, I'm gonna give it the yes, actually. And uh, it is above Jin. Now, I don't like Shayu like that much. Uh, I think she still looks like a little girl and I would like her to feel like a bit more mature. She does here. I would like for them to get rid of the ponytails eventually. But I do understand it's kind of like part of her image. The color scheme is great. You can see like the phoenix feathers. So out of the phoenix makes complete sense. Uh, the orange like is definitely her color. I don't really like pink or yellow. As far as Shayu's design goes, this is one of the best, even though I don't think Shayu's designs have been all that great. I think it might be A, actually. I kind of like it. The circular movement around, like, the opponent. I think that's kind of cool. But it doesn't go crazy. It doesn't go stupid. I think it's B. I think it's, like, high B. Anyways, Leroy. It's kind of hard to mess up Leroy. Right? I think it's A just because, like, Heroi as a concept is so cool. And I don't think there's, like, a single person that dislikes his design. I do like Ling Shaoyu's, like, a little bit more somehow. He's got the Weijing Chun coming on. Yeah, yeah, the judo flip, like still, and uh, one inch punch. It's fine. It's oh, the dragon is cool. I like the dragon. I think the dragon like kind of carries the rage art. Yeah, it's better than Nina's. Uh, Asuka Kazama. It's just a cool outfit. This outfit looks like way better than Lily that it does in Asuka, which is saying a lot. It's like it's a school outfit, so it's like juvenile. Sets up that Asuka is like a young character, you know, discipline. Kind of reflects her personality. Uh, let me check the rage art. Okay, nice kick. I like the kick. Big ass punch. Oh, I really like. <laughs> Man, you know what? I really like this rage art. The change in angles is so cool. It feels so beefy, and she even trips in the end. It's really, really cute. So design-wise, I think it's B, uh, but it's high B. It's high B. I don't like it that much, but I think she's cool. And for rage arts, uh, man, am I actually B S? I really like Asuka's rage art. This character has been my main for years, and I will try to not be biased. Here's me not trying to be biased. It's a great design. I, I think it completely fits her. I follow the artist who designed this on Twitter. She's great. Like, it completely fits this character. Man, she does look great. She does look great. Like, it still feels like Lily, but it feels like a bit more mature. Um, but it's not really about the costume design. I think it's just like the way they modeled her face, like her nose. She doesn't look like a child anymore. I think Lily looks great and I will give her the S because I think she deserves it. Okay, get the slap. The slap is good. Okay, the unblockable. One, two, three. I like the setup. And moon kick. Man, the moon kick is crazy. I like it. I like it. Lily looks so good. Like Rage Art Eyes, I think it's S. I think it might be better. It might be better than Jin's. Not better than Asuka's. I think Asuka's is very good. These are the two aspects of Haorang. Taekwondo fighter and biker. That's his personality, right? They took like the biker thing. Okay, he arrives to the match in a bike. Okay, cool. But aside from that, I don't know. I miss the cowboy boots. I miss like the biker look. I miss the goggles. Granted, I hate Tekken 7 design. And about the, um, the rage art, I think, yeah, it has a crescent kick. So design wise, it's not going to go much further. I don't like uh, Haorang's design, I'll be honest. I don't like it. It's, it's gonna go to C. I don't like it. Okay, and rage art wise, uh, moon kicks are cool. I'm gonna give them the A, which I think it's pretty alright. Right here, right here. You know, speaking of good designs, Brian is one of the characters that has had always like good designs. Especially in Tekken 7. I love Tekken 7 because it tries something different and it's like better. Uh, this one, I think it plays like too safe. It looks too much like the original one, but I like the snake skin. Snake skin under the pants is cool. It's a B because it plays too safe. And here's what we do to characters that play too safe. Okay, Fisherman. What's he gonna do? He's just gonna go crazy with a punch. You know what? Okay, the minigun. Oh, no, no, no. Minigun is part of the ending. Okay. The minigun is not part of it. Uh, I don't like it that much because he just like punches a lot. But then he punches. Yeah, it's a B and it's not even that, uh, yeah, it's not even that good. It might actually be C. Yeah, I don't like it. Here's another character that I hate and I will try my best uh, to not show my uh, my bias towards this character. I don't think it changes that much. I think it looks weird. I think his face looks kind of weird. Like the little thing with the arm, like the belts. I get it. You're an exorcist. Next. And uh, it might not even be B. I think it's just like straight up bad. Nah, it, it, it can't be worse than Lars, right? Uh, and show me the rage art. Okay. 
Oh, I think I remember this one. Okay, I gotta be honest, I hate Claudio, but like this rage art is crazy. Like the patterns are so cool. And like this shot, ooh, this shot alone is cool as hell. Like, rage art is S tier. It might actually be like really, really high. It might actually be my favorite rage art. I think it's that good. Uh, Raven, Raven is back. Here's the thing, it plays too safe. But it doesn't look better, and that's my issue. Like, if you're gonna play it safe, it better look better than the original one. But in this case, I don't think it does. I... yeah, it's gonna go in C. I don't think it's completely atrocious. But uh, this one is atrocious. Actually, I'm moving this. Okay. There's the Jutsu. Comes in. Oh, I like that. I like the patterns. Double gangers. Multi-attack. Even is A. And I don't think it's that crazy. I think the character looks very, very cool. Juvenile, energetic. Uh, you can tell she's from Peru. Like the sneakers. Uh, I like her hair. Her whole character trait is just like coffee, coffee, coffee. Every time she opens her mouth, anything coffee related comes out. Of it. And uh, it, at some point it starts to piss me off. Um, but I do think it's a very, very cool design. I'm gonna give it like high A. It's gonna go above Nina, I guess. Oh, I like Nils. Here we go. Okay, so she appears, double punch, I like the kick, Dienos Cafe, nope, nope, that's uh, automatically, automatically D, like, why would she say that, why would she say that, you're like in the middle of combat, just like, why are you like constantly talking about coffee, just shut the fuck for a second, I think the design is very cool, hey, it's classy, the few flourishes, I think this is one of the examples where, um, plays it safe, but it does better, and I, yeah, it's better. And he also finally speaks Chinese, which is crazy. Okay. A setup. Oh, that is cool. Kind of similar to Kazios in a way, but I think it's better than Kazios, honestly. You can see by Raven and Master Raven's design that like the Ravens have a very specific way to dress. And then you go to the head of the Ravens and it looks like Colonel Sanders. I think his design is very, very lazy. It's not bad, it's just... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put him over here. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's good. Right, so knives, teleport, and Metal Gear Rising. Man, the sound design is good, and I like the particles in the end. Uh, I think it's like high B. I don't have, like, many words for this trailer. One of Tekken's best designs ever is a purple bitch. Y'all know I love purple bitch. My favorite gender. Cinema. It's top one. It is what it is. I don't make the rules. Top one and top one. Here's another character that I think they did dirty. Always looks the same in every game. Even though I think this is Leo's best design yet, but the bar was kind of low. Yeah, I think it's over here. This was ass. What the fuck was that? It's bad. Yeah, Leo's one of the worst. It might actually be worse than Azucena's, honestly. <laughs> I think it looks it looks that bad. I'm sorry, man. It's not even the face. I'm not gonna talk about the face. Even though it's it's hard to it's hard to not talk about the face. Like the V-neck looks weird. British pants. I like the belt, but I don't know. Oh yeah, the accent is weird. He looks. It's, it kind of sounds weird, but I don't know. I'm I'm not British. He might look like he might sound like perfectly fine. I think it goes into C. I think it's one of those designs that is not good. Uh, it goes over here. Rageard is... It, it's it's B. Nah, it's it, it's C. It might go like over here. Uh, Dragonov, again, another character they played. They played too safe. Okay, yeah, this is second seven's design. Yeah, it, it looks too similar. It's the jacket. You know what? I'm gonna put it like low way because I, I do like his design. Okay, kick up, punch down. And we have the same old cutscene as Tekken 7, please. This is the same as, um, as Tekken 7's. Okay, next up is Yoshi. Yoshi is always a wild card. I don't think it's objectively bad, but I don't like it. That, that's how I'll put it. Probably like low B. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll put it over here. I'll put it over here because I don't like it that much. But uh, I don't think it's a fault of the design because I think the design is like a very cool idea. Let me see this. Okay. 
I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of ass. <laughs> it, it, it's not ass tier, it's like ass ass. It goes like here, Bobby. Pains me because I think he could uh, he could be a very cool character, but they did him dirty. Uh, again, Tekken 7 newcomer, I think they kind of dropped the ball with that one. Because I feel like Shaheen's design is plain, his personality is none. Like, sometimes I forget Shaheen exists. You know, it sucks because he could have like a very cool, uh, you know, role in a game. Um, and I do think like this design is a step in the right direction. Uh, it's not crazy, definitely better, even though the bar was like non-existent. I think it might be like high B. Okay, the surf. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> a little bit overdone, but I like it. I like it. I think it's. I think it's solid. I think it's a solid Richard A because I think it's pretty good. Uh, now it's time for the bears. This specifically is. Um, it's hard because it's just Heihachi. Since it makes sense story wise, I think I'll give it. I think I'll give it like a high score because I really like this design. I think it's a really neat design. Okay, use the salmon. Oh yeah, it's a rocket salmon, right? Okay, it's a goofy, it, it's a goofy kind of joke rage art. Right? But I like it, I think it's cool. I think it's um, on the same level as uh, Jax. If Kuma got knocked out by the explosion, I would have given it like the same, you know, the same score as a... Uh, as Jack. Uh, now I gotta be honest, Panda's best design is Tekken 3. Here it's overdone, I don't like it. I think like the buns is a very good idea, but I don't think it works. Uh, it might actually be worse than um, than Paul's. Okay, go in. Okay, hamster ball. Oh my, okay, that's kind of cool. I actually haven't seen this one. Okay, the rage art is kind of cool, I'll admit. It's funny, it has energy, it fits the character. You know what, I, re I really like her, her rage art. And uh, another character that uh, I will say this much, and I don't think this is even a, an opinion, I think it's an actual statement. This character has never had um, a good design. Like, the colors are off, they're all over the place. Uh, it's just a mess. It's hard. Yeah, but I think she goes in here. Okay, so she kicks the head. It's goofy. Ah, even though it's goofy, I don't like it somehow. But yeah, but, but it's bad. It's bad. The design is terrible. Uh, Richard is just bad. Daphina, truly special character. Just because uh, Tekken 7 Daphina is one of the best designs uh, Tekken has ever had. Even though I didn't really like Daphina's uh, design in Tekken 6 and, and in Tekken Tag. Ever since she decided like to rock the blue and the purple. It's crazy. It's crazy good. It's amazing. It's definitely an S tier. Okay. Okay, down into Azazel land, grab him, choke him. Man, I wish that was me. Yes, it's a very cool, a very cool... I think when it comes to designs, some of these are like hit or miss. This one is definitely a miss. Uh, I don't know what they were thinking with this design. Uh, it's not it. It's it's not it. It's terrible. It, it might actually be better than Paul's. Uh, maybe the Rage Art will save it. Goes. Okay, a lot of kicks. Set up for a grenade with a rose. And why did they change the catchphrase? I don't get it. I think it's fine. I think the grenade is um, it's kind of a funny gimmick. Last but not least, uh, Devil Jin. He's been rocking the, the classic Mishima outfit for quite some time. So I like the change. Uh, way better than Tekken 7's design. Straight ass. This one, I think it looks cool. A little bit too edgy. But, you know, it fits him, like, completely. Gotta go, like, low A. Like, it's good. It's solid. Of course, it's A. Boots are cool. Everything is cool. But that's the point. Uh, it, he's too cool. And uh, let me just take a look. At the rage art, I think the rage art is very cool. I don't like, I don't like the laugh. I don't like the laugh. But uh, everything else is pretty, pretty, pretty all right. Yeah, I'll put it over here. I think, I think it's respectable. Uh, so final tier list for design. Here's the design tier list. Top row, I think it's pretty respectable. Reina Zafina, uh, Kazuya, Jun, Jin, and Lily. <laughs> Lily does look like the odd one in here, but trust me, it's a good design. For rage arts. Uh, not as balanced, this tier list. But yeah, that's gonna be it. I'm really excited to play the game. Okay, five, three, two, and... Are you fucking kidding me? Hold chat. We are so in. Ooh, story mode difficulty. Wait, story mode? They're talking about story mode now? No, come on. I can't play with June. Huh. Unlocks after progressing through the Dark Awakening story. 
Ooh, and Reyna as well. Because this was the one I was worried about. Because Reyna, we don't know anything about her. Okay, this means that I might actually start story mode. Change of plans. But we're gonna start the story mode. And I am extremely excited. Oh my god. Okay, boys. Here we go. 